Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at the Autobot Fireflight. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes that way that will help you decide which way you want to display him. I'll show you the accessory that comes with him and also point out things that you need to be aware of if you have to purchase him one for yourself. We can also look at him combined as part of Superior and as I'm lucky enough to have a couple of different types of packaging we can have a look at the different artwork that's on the back of them and the lovely battle scenes as well. So let's get started. So as I said, his name is Fireflight. He was released um, along with four other um, aerial bots and they combined to form Superior, which is this large combiner here. They were all released in 1986 initially and um, in Japan they were known as the Scramble City wave of toys. And I'll just grab the little box first to show you that. And that says there you can see on the little box that's all I'm going to show you for now on here the C stood for Cybertron which was the Autobots and Scramble City basically referred to the fact that you could scramble all the limbs so he's most commonly put as Superior's right arm but of course he could be any arm he could be any limb he obviously couldn't be the main torso but that's what the Scramble City uh, referred to so yeah you could scramble all the limbs and that's what he was commonly known as um, let's have a look at the figure itself then so the figure itself is very, very basic because of this, because it is just a limb. Um, but you do have movement in the arms, ball and socket joints, quite impressive. Um, no real movement in the legs. Um, this is his weapon and it just slides on the side. I'll just show you this quickly, see if we can get it into focus. If we're going to get it. There we go. It's the twin blaster. And so you need to make sure that it's got the clip like that. Otherwise, it's not going to slip and fit onto his arm like so. If it hasn't got the clip, it won't attach to it. So, there we go. He says as he drops it. <laughs> right, so, there we go, that's better. There we go, so that's him in robot mode. You can also see straight away that there's a lot of white, and this can get terribly sun damaged, sun bleached, and come out a horrible color of yellow. But this one's quite a good example, uh, so that's something that you need to be aware of. Uh, when it's in jet mode, you won't be able to see if the head is intact but because he is an arm it's very important that that is there because that's what's going to slot into the side of superior in there so in jet mode unless it's turned upside down you wouldn't know so you would definitely need to see that that's really important stickers do play some part and you can see these are a bit off center um, and it would look really really i suppose dull without it but there he is nice very basic robot but you know fits his purpose let's have a look at the alternate mode then so I like the alternate mode on this to be fair it looks really really good um, with the alternate mode though there's literally nothing else that you can attach to it so if you had his weapon um, you'd need to store it somewhere safe uh, but if you didn't have his weapon then obviously you could display it in this mode again be aware of the white on the wings and sometimes because these slide up and down as part of the transformation sometimes these can come out and fall apart in fact I've got a good example in a second I'll show you but there's his alternate mode looks good again be aware of sun damage with regards to this so what we've got is we've got a few different types of packaging but before we look at there let's have a look at the main robot so here is superior and i probably shouldn't have picked him up because he might not stand up again but there he was traditionally in his right arm where he fit and it's still a it's still a good combiner he doesn't get the credit he deserves i think a lot of problems that you do have is exactly what you're going to witness now is that he doesn't always stand and even though my silver bolt does tend to have tight joints here we go that's better that he does he does have a job at getting him to stand so what we'll do first and foremost first packaging we'll have a look at is the gift set so this is just the normal Hasbro release gift set and he's in the box there so no ch name change or nothing because it's Hasbro fire flight there he is there's the lovely artwork for Superior and if we spin this around, we've got one of the more common, well, 1986. This was used on a lot of 85 things, to be fair, but this is the gift set from 86, and that's the battle scene on the back. So you've got the Dinobots, with Shockwave, Jetfire. Great piece of artwork there, and of course you've got six tech specs because you've got Superior as well. So that's the gift set. Um, we'll move along to the little Japanese box then. So I've mentioned it was... Uh, made in Japan under Takara and the fact that it was a scramble city and of course they um, detail all that on the box so there we go again scramble city 
Takara made. And then if we have a look at the back of this, we've got one of my favourite battle scenes there. So we've got the two Titans, we've got Metroplex and Triptychon, but they're transformed into their older modes. Lovely piece of artwork there. Before we move on to the classics one, I'm also lucky enough to have, this is um, only released in England, this is a mail away Weetabix version of him. So for my American viewers, this is probably the same as like, but obviously no one here as good as your Jazz Cookie Crisp. So you got a lovely Jazz figure, we got a um, aerial bot, but we also got a drag strip as well that we could mail away for. So yeah, Weetabix is a breakfast cereal in the UK and it is still going. Um, but this is what I was on about here. That, um, that this has obviously never been opened, it's sealed, but it looks like the, yes, see the part there? It has actually come out of position. So even though this has never been open, the tail that I was referring to, that it can come out and can move, it has actually, inside the packaging there, come a little bit loose. But this is quite a special piece, to be fair. You don't see many of these pop up at all. And the fact that it's still sealed, really good. It's a nice, nice find I've got there. So that's the mail away version of Fireflies, which also came out in 1990. The same as the European and classic version. Now, unfortunately, you can see there that we've got a bit of a faded stroke yellow bubble. So that's what happens to sun fade when it doesn't even get to the figure. It's actually got the bubble as well, but you can probably make out that the wings are a bit yellow. In fact, if I do this, there you go. You can see straight away that it just doesn't look as good, but it's still sealed and I still like it. So there we go. This is the English version because it says classic and all the writings in English. And I know I might be saying that like I'm pointing out things that are really obvious, but I've got so many different versions of some of these gold cards, but they are some in Spanish, some in Dutch and French, etc. But this is the full English version. And ironically enough, it's the English version, but it's got a Euro price sticker on it. So this must have been in a shop at some point after 2003, even though it was released in 1990. It must have been some X um, stock found somewhere. But there we go. There's his tech spec on the back. So yeah, as I say, even though this released in 1990, it's got a Euro sticker on. And the reason why I know it's after 2003, and that's because obviously when the Euro came out. So that's quite interesting. But there we go. There he is. That is Fireflight. Generation 1 aerial bot combines to form Superior. Really cool little toy, as I say, not the most articulate, not the, not the most articulate, but they do serve their purpose. They are very basic, but they can do that. And that's the coolest thing about them. So I hope this brought back nice memories. I hope it educated some of you. Uh, some of you may not even have seen the uh, Weetabix one, even the guys in the UK. So that's something, as I say, that maybe you can look out for as well. But otherwise, yeah, hope you enjoyed looking at it. Hope it brought back some nice memories. And of course, please take care.